The next day, Wow, the Team Galaxy hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Haley, the girl who quelled Cleavor, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> who's to say? No, that's me. I knew it. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm a Rezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip! Uh, but I came here to talk to your Mr. Commodo. See you around. Bye! You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice! That it would! Unfortunately, Tao Hua... Tao Hua? Refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks I'd do it, but I'd make it three to play it safe. Okay, I don't know where to get those, but I will do my damnedest. Wow, there are a lot of requests for me to grab. Hey, sport, interest you in some tart? You have literally all of my least favorite side quests in video games. No, I don't want that. Oh, you're the girl from the Surve Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Can I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it for, oh, to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Anise for, oh, from the medical corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Oh my gosh, there are so many requests. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that aura from you, as if you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry. I hope you come show me sometime. Yeah, let's try Espeon, because I guess we've got enough friendship for it to evolve, so... Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack of s for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you would like, you can keep coming on to show me your Pokemon. I'd be happy to inform you how they're feeling about you at any time. Ooh, got a rare candy for that. Hey, listen to this. I saw something in the wilds. Oh, it was incredible. Come again? The thing I saw was a will-o'-the-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking on Windswept Run the other night, it looked at me like, woo! <laughs> oh, hi. At it again with the story, huh? Don't listen to her, ma'am. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that Will-o'-the-Wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? Heh, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> what a little shit. <laughs> it's so frustrating you won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're with the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a Will-o'-the-Wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? Sure. I mean, maybe. If it's Pokemon. <laughs> it's not a Pokemon. You're kind of SOL. I love your hair. Those clothes you were wearing when you first came to the village. I can't describe to you the shock they gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse from the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion, aren't you? I mean, I like fashion. I don't know if I'm passionate about it, but... I see. Well, I have the duty of making this village more fashionable, too. Let's study fashion together. You're part of the Survey Corps, am I right? Please, I ask that you lend me your talents. I've been told that... Hippo... Hippopotus can be found in the Crimson Mirelands and have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like if I were able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Could you please show me both a male and a female Hippopotus? Wow, I cannot say that very well. Sure, I'll do my best. Hmm? Oh, hello, dearie. Shinon, Shinon? Shinon. Uh, sent you out searching for a medicinal plant, did she? That'll be our three-leaved little helper then. Shinon doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Or Shinon will get quite the shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck in your search, dearie. We'll find the Pokemon with the three leaves in Crimson Mirelands. Okay, I was gonna say, like, you're not gonna tell me? No, she's not gonna tell me. Oh, and there's another new request up here. <laughs> I'll get to that after. Oh no, that's the shooting game. I don't want it. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be black if it was that. You hear about my Ponyta request, right? Glad to at least have some help. 
Here's the problem. A ponytail like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. It looks so different from other ponytails. It's a little scary, to be honest. Uh, when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it, so we agreed to have the ponytail surveyed and see what's what. Yeah. It's probably shiny, right? Hey, you're the Survey Corp, ain't ya? Uh, just the gal I was looking for. I'm working to make sure these ear fields uh, bigger, but the ground is sure hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together, right? Uh, so if you have a ground-type Pokemon, could I borrow it? I don't think I have a ground-type Pokemon yet. Oh, Geodudes are ground. Your Pokemon will sure be a big help in expanding the fields. Might as well get started. Wow, we! This thing's turning. Oh, it's turning this gritty old soft soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? And we're done here. What a trooper! That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out the field a while longer. Uh, just give it a holler if you want to swap it with a different Pokemon to be our plow and pop partner. More fields available for her. Wait, I can farm? Is that what you're saying? You can have crops grown for you in exchange for a fee? That's amazing. Sure, I mean, we'll try it. That's awesome. Okay, well, I think we're back out into the wilderness. Ooh, let's make some uh, great balls. We can make 13. Cool. Oh, but that was all my apricorns. Well, I had as many apricorns as I had iron chunks. That's a weird coincidence. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna go to the Fieldlands camp. Figure out from there. Okay, let's go see this peculiar ponyta. Which, again, I'm assuming is just gonna be a shiny ponyta. Which is nothing to complain about, because that is cool. I guess we might as well, yeah, go check out the weasel. Because we still need weasel. Okay, now we can go check on that ponyta. I am here! It's shiny! It's an unusual ponyta. Oh, they make a sound! Yay, we did it! You caught the unusual point. It's time to report back to Yota. Um, no. <laughs> I will continue my expedition, but thanks for the suggestion. Okay, yeah, so I can check up from here. Ah, oh, that one's two eight. We're just gonna we're just gonna put a marking on it because then I'll know that was the one that I need to give. I would like to rest, please, until nightfall. Let's investigate. Oh. Just a chimchar. I. I mean, to be honest, that's scarier than any ghost. We did it! <laughs> cool. We got a, a bunch of requests all all done while we were out. I want to know. Where to find hardy grains? Oh, I don't think we've discovered the Crimson Mire lands yet. I guess we've got some exploring to do, huh? Okay, so it looks like most of this stuff is the surrounding areas. So I'll I'll cross back over and go into this area. Because that's a that's a big area to explore. And hopefully we'll find the, the Crimson Mire lands. I don't see anything that looks obviously like a Crimson Mire lands. <laughs> so hopefully it's in this section of the map and not somewhere else. Oh. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I just pissed it off. Of course, two decided to come out. Let's try to take out the little one first, because then we just have to focus on the big one. Ow! We got it! Well, that's weird. Why is it all dead? Weird. <laughs> All right. Continuing on. Oh, wait. I do want that. Can you get up there? Please? Can 
I get up there? No, can do what get up there? Nice. <laughs> That's how to do it. Oh! Not just a Snorlax, an Alpha Snorlax. That is a big boy. Please ignore me. Oh, he is level 45 and he's immediately attacking. I'm just running away. Yeah, we will um battle some other time. I feel like stuff in this area is gonna be too strong for me, so. The thing is, I'm mostly just trying to find the crimson whatevers anyway. I think it's gonna be on a different map. Because I don't think I'm gonna have I'm gonna find anything like that here. This is neat, but it looks like there's something I can really do in here because it's all water. That's okay. Well, we have it unlocked on the map now. Oh, this is Lake Verity. Looks pretty different. <laughs> Oh, it was Little Shillos. I mean, I am not here to, to go up against Gastrodon because I hate them. They're so damn annoying. But if I can get a Little Shellos. Oh, there's a Mr. Mime Jr. over there. Or Mime Jr. Well, the Mime Jr. is facing away, so let's try him first. Cool. Made that easy. <laughs> Gast Gastrodon is sleeping. Now is my opportunity. Nice. <laughs> Hello, little jealous. Oh. Hi. <laughs> they both jumped out. Oh. Wait. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. Why are the shellos harder to catch than the gastrodons? Oh, there's a Mr. Mime over there too. I don't like that. I wonder how well the map in this game maps up, matches up with Diamond and Pearl. Because obviously there's some of the same locations. Like there was Lake Verity and this is Sam Gem, Sand Gem Flats. But I wonder like actually like how they're laid out, how similar it actually is. You are just unpleasant to look at. Well, I need to, I know I need to cross the river again because I need to go all the way across. I could probably actually fast travel and then go from there. But it's so much fun to ride around. And sometimes you find Pokemon you want to try to catch. We'll just rest until morning too so it's nice and bright out. Is that a Pikachu? Oh my god, there's a Pikachu. I want the Pikachu. Please give. No. Pikachu, why? Oh, we're fighting now. Just please don't kill the Pikachu. Ah! Okay. No! Pikachu, why? Please be my friend. No, Pikachu, please! Oh, this Pikachu has to die! I'm so sad! Oh, well. No Pikachu for me. Okay, um, we need to get across the water. And then there's a little chunk at the end that we technically haven't explored. Um, and then we need to go back up the other way. I explored most of this, but, um... There's not, like, the very last section of it. I didn't go all the way to the end. <laughs> Gosh! Hi, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a big angry lopany, and I ran some Mac into her. <laughs> I can't see in the forest when I'm riding around. <laughs> oh, oh, Caesar! Hi, hi. Um, I'm not here to fight. I just want the apricorns. There's so many combies. I'm like, I'm gonna run into a Vespa Queen, and she will kick my ass. Ooh, Orboro Tunnel. Oh, there's my chops. And a happeny. That's kind of random, but I would like the happeny. It's so weird because, like, because you can you can um, try to catch Pokemon both through battling and just by yucking uh, Pokeballs at them. It's like a mix of a regular Pokemon game playstyle and Pokemon Go playstyle. 
while also having like so much more to it than both of those things. I enjoy it very much, Lee. This happening cannot decide what direction it wants to walk. Pretty much whatever direction I'm in, that's the way it wants to go. Nice. Happiny acquired. Oh, I see. I can't investigate. Okay, well. I'll be able to get through there someday. <laughs> okay, so we have not found anything for that quest. Like, no location called that. So, um, it's probably in a different map. I'm assuming. So it has a little icon for it being an alpha shinx. Wow, I got a lot of new ones. That's cool. I would like to go to the village. I did a bunch of research quests. I think I did three. And yet I have not, I've still not seen a cherim all this time. I wonder if we unlock new areas based on rank or based on like story quest, story progression. You know, a friend of mine was from Galar. Oh, a friend of mine from Galar was surprised when he found, when he saw the Ponyta herds out in the fields. He couldn't wrap his head around their fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by. But now I know that some planets that have blue flames, it's not such a stretch to think that they might be... There might be all sorts of them out there. And I'm not just talking about uh, Ponyta, mind. Who knows how many differently colored Pokemon there are in the world. Uh, I hope the Survey Corps keeps trying its level best to research them all. Some of the phrasing in this is very confusing. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure we finished the Weasel one finally. I got it to 8-1, so fingers crossed. I think I finally have your Buizel, dude. After all this time. Oh, look at them side by side. It's almost like the big one is the little one's older sibling. Look at how the tip of the little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's flotation sack. There's something reassuring about how large it is, don't you think? Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one's bigger. Keep uh, Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes... Uh, when you're catching them, might spice up your excursions. Thank you for the favor. I know you Survey Corps folks' work is no joke, so keep at it. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, ma'am. Have you come to show me the Will-o'-the-Wisp? Yes! It was not a Will-o'-the-Wisp, it was a Chimchar. A Pokemon? But I'm certain what I saw was a Will-o'-the-Wisp, you know. Hmm? I should look at this Pokemon at night. Okay, if you say so. I'll go to bed. <laughs> if I must. Alright, lady. I've got your will-o'-the-wisp, and it's just a monkey's tail. <laughs> That's it. That's the will-o'-the-wisp I saw, alright? So it was just a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it just like you promised. The Survey Corps really are a talented bunch. Now I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. A will o' the wisp. No, save me, sis. Ah. <laughs> I think that's all the ones we have done. Main quest it is. 